Hello everyone and welcome to another Lawrence Academy screencast. Today we're going to be talking about function notation, that is in the form of f of x equals y. Here you can see I've written f parenthesis x close parenthesis equals y, um, and that is the way that you will commonly see it in function notation. So today we're going to be taking a look at function notation regarding tables, graphs, and equations. So let's get going with a table. So here we have a pretty common x, y table. Uh, in the y column I've written f of x. Um, and you'll see several function notation problems uh, with these tables. So the first could be something like f of 5 equals question mark. So in this case, you'll have to take a look at the function when x is equal to 5. And the function when x equals 5 is 7. That's the first way that you'll see a, a question on this type. There's also another way. I could ask you something like f of x equals 1. Find x. The other way that you'll see a question asked about a table is something like number 2, which is f of x equals 3, find x. So in the first question, they gave you, basically, they plugged in x and gave you your y. Here, they're giving you the y, and they want you to find the x. So in this case, f of x equals 3. What is x when y is equal to 3? So in this case, x is 1. So there you have it with tables. Um, those are the majority of the types of questions that you will find uh, with function notation and tables. So let's move along to graphs. So when we're working with function notations and graphs, you will most likely see something like this. You probably won't be as impeccably drawn as the one that I made, but you'll have to make do. So here you get a graph, um, and there could be certain questions about this graph that they could ask you to evaluate. The first type of question that you could see would be something like f of 3 equals question mark. So here it's a very similar comp uh, concept as we've been dealing with with the tables. We just have to find where x is 3, which is right there, and figure out that that value when x is 3, y is 1, 2, 3, 4. So f of 3 equals 4. The second type of question um, could be once again, the other way around. So you could be looking for f of x equals, let's say, uh, 0. So when f of x equals 0, what is the value for x? In this case, we just take a look. So when y is 0, x is going to be negative 3. And we can see that value right there. So, once again, there's a variety of different questions they could ask you, um, but these are the two major types of questions. So, we've covered tables and graphs. Now, we need to take a look at equations. So, we've finally reached the point where we're dealing with equations, and I know this is probably everybody's favorite. Um, so, here we have the function f of x equals x plus 10. And similarly, we will be asking you some the same questions as we did before. So the first one we could say, f of 3 equals question mark. So here, in this, in this problem, we're just going to plug 3 in whenever you see an x. So we see an x right here. We're going to plug in a 3, and we get 3 plus 10 equals 13. So f of 3 is equal to 13. On the other side of the coin, uh, I could give you something like number 2, which is f of x equals 7. So in this case, we're going to need to find out what is x. So we essentially know that f of x equals 7, which means that 7 equals x plus 10. So x has to be equal to negative 3. So as is customary, uh, once we go over something, there are going to be problems for you to try on your own. Here are two quick ones for you to try. Good luck, thank you for watching, and have a good one.